you're looking for a great party appetizer that everybody's going to flock to, Sherry Kelly is here with a, a terrific one, I think. And it has an extra special secret ingredient that I think is going to surprise you. You don't really have to tell your guests what you're putting in it, right? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> We're making blackberry party meatballs, and they really look delicious. You say this is one of the things that goes so fast on your holiday table. It does. It, it's a favorite in our home, and it, it's really good. And once you find out that secret ingredient, um, some people say, oh, I'm not going to eat it, but they well, they still do because they're great. Yeah. yeah. All right, so what are we starting with? We're going to start with our blackberry wine jelly. Okay. And we're going to add this in. If you want to help me, we'll get this in here really okay. quickly. And this um, is uh, your jelly that comes from the Bellmead Plantation. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I'm going to let you finish this one. Oh, okay. This Be one, happy to do that. And then I'll get this other one in. So it's two okay. jars of our blackberry wine uh, jelly, and it is made with our blackberry wine. So you can't find this anywhere else. Um, of course, you could substitute with just blackberry jelly. Mm -hmm. Of course, we think that you should use ours, and it's the best. <laughs> <laughs> and then to this, we want to add one cup of our blackberry wine, and we'll add this in. Okay. And if you want to start with the whisk and start whisking that a little okay. bit, and then we'll add our brown sugar. And I don't want to slosh that on you. <laughs> there we go. So that's firmly packed in firmly there. Firmly packed one cup of brown sugar, and you just mix that all together and kind of dissolve the jelly um, very quickly. And then we're going to add to this our um, chili sauce. And it's just one jar of chili sauce. I'll try to do this right handed so we don't okay. Sorry. over each other. <laughs> and then sometimes what I'll do is just to make sure we get everything out of the jelly, out of the chili sauce jar, is just to add a little water or a little more wine and mm -hmm. just shake that up and get it out so okay. um, that you're using it all. And that's very quick and easy. Okay. And then. Ready for the secret yes, ingredient. Yes. The secret ingredient happens to be sauerkraut. No kidding. Yes. Okay. You want to just take a regular can of sauerkraut and uh, rinse it and drain it and then add it right in to our bowl and we'll mix that together. And then I actually love sauerkraut. Not well, everybody does, but I, I like it. I do too, and I love co just cooked cabbage too, mm -hmm. so that's a great thing. But um, this recipe, people will say, "Man, what is that taste?" And you just—it's—it's it's the sour cream that makes this um, just an extra special meatball. So talk about your meatballs. These, um, you could make them from scratch if you want to. Absolutely. If you wanted to make them from scratch, go ahead. Uh, but I would it just save time because now it's so convenient that you can buy them in the grocery store, mm -hmm. pre-made. They're frozen. You find them in the frozen section um, at the grocery store and then just set them out, put them in your in your pan. I always spray my pan a little bit because this is a kind of a messy recipe that would stick. And then you just drizzle this over the top or pour it over the top mm -hmm. of your meatballs. And it's really thick when you start, but as it melts, as, as it's it, going to get a little thinner, yes. right? And then um, you're just going to, you can put all of this on here and it's going to go down in between all the meatballs and make a fabulous sauce for this these meatballs. And you just put, um, cover it with aluminum foil and put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes and you will have the best meatballs ever. That sounds fantastic yeah. and super easy too. It is super easy. That's great. Well, yes. We've got our finished product over there and behind it we've got one of the newest features that you have over at uh, the That's plantation. A, yes, at the winery at Belmead mm -hmm. we have our new bourbon cake. Okay. And it's a, a cake that I have developed um, using Belmead bourbon. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a great holiday gift and of course everybody's looking for that perfect holiday gift mm -hmm. uh, to give and uh, we, we have them at the plantation at, at, in the winery. That sounds really nice. Yes. You can pick up uh, some of these nice little jellies and things there too. Yes, as we mm -hmm. have both of these. Um, we have a new jelly. It's a jalapeno honey jelly um, that mm. will, you can spread over pimento and cheese with a cracker and it's a fabulous appetizer. That sounds Quick, really good. Easy. Um, I want to also, if I have it time, to just tell you about quick, our quick, quick. Um, <laughs> our champagne. Mm -hmm. um, it's a sparkling white. We just got a gold on it. So Congratulations. So it needs to be at everyone's table for the holidays. That's wonderful. Well, this is recipe number 5274. It's online right now at newschannel5.com. Cherie, happy holidays to you. Thank and you so Merry much. Merry Christmas to you, Merry Meryl. Christmas.